Today, we are building the coffee station table I use for my English College inspired coffee bar in my kitchen. I will link that video above. So join me as I figure out and problem solve my way through this very fun build. A little note is that we live in Canada and it was quite chilly outside and in the garage. So I brought some of my tools downstairs for this. Hence the messy basement backdrop. But thank you so much for joining me today. Maybe grab your favorite tea and let's get into this. I didn't do the best job at filming the beginning portion of this build, so I wanted to pop this up on here to share what I did up to this point. I put pocket holes on either side of the table aprons and screwed them into the top of the legs, giving them a slight inset so they weren't flush with the legs. Yeah. It's right at this point that I end up throwing in the towel on a certain method that I was going to try to do for the shelf, but I ended up abandoning this idea and switching to another idea that might not have looked as aesthetic, but it was a lot more simple. I have basically decided to take the sides out and replace them with some two by twos. And I think that will make it a bit easier moving forward. Here I'm just sanding the rough edges of the shelf before attaching to the full console. And then shortly after this and after attaching, I move on to the paint. so that when I flip it over and I start painting and I get down to the leg, uh, I'm not gonna be painting the floor or having like a sloppy job at the very bottom. Just gonna be a little bit of a gap so that I can have a nice smooth finish when I bring the brush there. Not 
bad, not bad. So, I have Fusion, it's Everett. So apologies for the super bad lighting, but I, I'm going to be applying this sealer onto the top of the console right here. I finally just got it from Amazon today. And this is what I'm putting on that basically protects the wood from spills, moisture, that kind of thing. It'll make the water or whatnot, coffee, tea, just kind of bubble instead of uh, seep into the wood. I ended up putting two coats of the sealer on. It didn't take long in between the coats. I would say maybe an hour or so. Uh, and then afterwards, we brought it upstairs. Matt and I absolutely love how this table turned out. I hope that you stick around for more content like this and be sure to check out my last video where I end up putting this whole look together and it's all renter friendly.